Yo, it's uh, Saturday and I decided to get out on the mini because it's not raining. Pulled the tarp off, about to get a little quick session. I got like half an hour, see what I can do. Second session on the 50-50 balance frames. Stefan Brandau audition. Shout out to Lawrence, much blessings. Let's see how this goes. Stay tuned. So today starting off a little shaky, not gonna lie. Um, I looked it up and there's a slight, I mean, we were talking slight difference in height and length between the symmetrics frames and the 50-50 balance. I thought there would be more and that that was like attributing to me maybe like not having the best placement for top soles as you're seeing today. I'm missing a lot, like all over the place. Miss, miss, here I'll show you, miss. I, mean, I don't know what's happening, but um, nah, I don't think that's enough. It's very interesting though. It feels a little different. What I will also say, the shorter length, I think is giving me more response in the transitions. I think I'm getting better speed, better power transfer in the transitions because of the shorter frame as it pertains to my size foot. I'm a 43, 10 and a half US, so who knows? But um, yeah, it's a little different today. Let's see what goes down, keep trying. Back at you again, it's your boy K Scott in the building, well, in the backyard. But either way, session two in the books, on the 50-50 frames, on the mini ramp, with the adjusted coping, some leveling throughout, some mixed bag today. I did some cool lines. I really stunk it up on some other tricks. Top soles, I leave top soles were dicey at best. Shuffle, cess, all of that goodness. One day I'll learn that. That just hurts when you miss it. I don't know how, I don't know how you guys like practice that and then like just get tossed and like somehow get back up and try it again. So that thing hurts, man. Like literally hurts. Took me out just now, but what can I say? Hit me up in the comments below. I know one time somebody said, turn my shoulders more towards the ramp as I enter into the set slide portion so that I'm more stacked. That's easier said than done. How do you bring that back foot around so that it's like lagging or your front foot's lagging or it's like catching up. Like, I don't know y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. That still perplexes me. And I feel like I lost Ali top soles, which is really sad. So I'm gonna work on that again. But always holla at your boy in the comments. I do appreciate it. Thumbs up the videos. It goes a long way to getting inline skating to show up in searches, browses on YouTube. If it's hot right now, let's celebrate all of it in all of its forms, including aggressive skating in your beautiful backyard, on the mini ramp, like, come on, let's do that. 
And please, subscribe if you haven't already. Join me on this recovery journey from a traumatic brain injury. That is why I say, upgrade your gray matter. Wear a helmet, please y'all. Like legit, don't learn the hard way like I did. And if you do, we're in this together anyway, so stay along for the ride. Follow me on IG and all things social. Do appreciate having y'all with me. Some days are better than others. Can you do? Try again. Should I try something? Yes. Yeah, sure.